Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be talking about a new discovery of what potentially is the oldest galaxy that kind of looks like our own galaxy, the so-called spiral galaxy in the universe. Let's discover what this is all about and why it's kind of important and welcome to What The Math. So there is the Milky Way, our beautiful galaxy that's also known as the Spiral Galaxy. And uh, here we can kind of see the beautiful arms of the Spiral Galaxy, we can see the center as well. Now this is actually something that doesn't really happen very often, as a matter of fact, very very few galaxies um, in our universe have these. Uh, the only other one that's kind of close to us is of course the Andromeda Galaxy. And the Andromeda Galaxy is right here at a distance of about 2.5 million light years from us. Now, uh, these unusual galaxies are actually relatively old. As a matter of fact, they are some of the oldest galaxies in our universe. But how they formed and why they have this peculiar shape is still a mystery, because the majority of galaxies are usually like this one. They have this type of shape. In other words, they are what's known as an elliptical galaxy. This particular elliptical galaxy, also known as M1110 or NGC205, is uh, the partner dwarf galaxy um, orbiting around Andromeda. So most of the galaxies actually usually look like this. And as a matter of fact, all of the early galaxies have this shape. These spiral galax galaxies are very, very, very common pretty much everywhere. As a matter of fact, the biggest galaxy in our universe, and I can't believe I used the word galaxy like 100 times already. But anyway, the biggest, biggest galaxy in our universe is this one right here, IC1101. I've talked about it. In one of the previous videos, this one is tremendously huge, and as you can see, it also has the same shape. So what is it that actually creates those very unusual spiral galaxies? Well, we still kind of don't really know, but we think that the spiral galaxies are actually formed through the collision and essentially the combination of many, many, many of these uh, beautiful creations. Now, this one here has trillions and trillions of stars on the inside. So if I actually try to fly through it, you'll see how tremendously populated it becomes in a few seconds. There, there you go. So you can kind of see stars already appearing. And if you actually are in the middle of this uh, galaxy, you probably wouldn't even, even see the outside. That's how populated it is. It would be very, very difficult for us to see through all of these uh, stars around us and all of the gas around us as well. But uh, today we're actually briefly talking about the evolution of galaxies, and we're going to try to create this in uh, Universe Sandbox. And so what we're going to do in Universe Sandbox is we're going to try to place a bunch of uh, these so-called elliptical galaxies, and then have them interact, and then see what happens. Because according to science, the oldest galaxy we've discovered, also known as A1689B11, is actually one of these um, spiral galaxies that was formed in such way. And so using the Hubble telescope, the scientists from uh, Australian Swinburne University were looking at various objects at a very, very, very far distance of about 11 billion light years away from us, and they discovered this tiny object right there. This object is known as A1689b11, and it was discovered in November of um, 2017. This object is essentially a galaxy that pretty much looks like our own, but the only difference is that this picture that we saw is about 11 billion years old. In other words, this seems to be the oldest spiral galaxy that we've discovered so far. Because of course, by the time the light uh, traveled to our planet Earth, uh, it's, it was already about 11 billion years old. Now, this is interesting because we didn't realize these galaxies were formed so quickly after the creation of the universe, so in other words, about 2 billion years later, we already had galaxies that looked like our own. Now today, we still don't completely understand how these are formed. As a matter of fact, the best um, theories we have about the creation of galaxies kind of look like this. Basically, they all start with elliptical galaxies, of which we have many, many examples. And then some of them become the spiral galaxies, and some of them become different types of spiral galaxies. And all of them seem to have relatively similar shapes, but they kind of end up as this. Now this is uh, according to Edwin Hubble back in the days, and we still haven't really changed this theory very much. And this is kind of what we believe still happens to most galaxies. So 
the way that this one was formed was essentially as follows. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to take a couple of galaxies. Let's just take these ones because they do kind of look elliptical and place them relatively close to one another and then see what actually happens. Will they form something that looks spiral like or will they form something completely different? Now, this is obviously not a very uh, accurate simulation, but the thing is, if you place more than two galaxies in Universe Sandbox, unfortunately, things actually become very, very hectic. So we will need to do this really slowly first. Let's start by accelerating time, making sure that time runs a lot faster than it was before, maybe even several million years per second. And, and then we're going to see how or what we can create using these two relatively elliptical looking galaxies. So if everything goes right, we'll have something a little bit more flat than this. And if not, then we won't. And as you can see, uh, at the speed of about several million years per second, things start moving around. Galaxies seem to be joining together, but we might need to wait a while before they actually come close enough together for, for us to see any effect here. Now, first thing you may have noticed here is that the two supermassive black holes at the center of each of the galaxies have not actually collided. And one of the reasons for that is because they're not really flying directly toward each other. As a matter of fact, the material around them and the dark matter around them does influence their trajectory. So when um, several galaxies come together, their supermassive black holes might end up actually being inside of the central region, but not combined with the actual black hole in the middle. On the other hand, because they start orbiting around one another now, they're going to be creating quite a lot of uh, disturbances in, uh, in the central region, but also in the, on the outskirts. And this is kind of similar to how binary stars usually have trouble keeping some of the objects in the orbit. And so for a planet to orbit a binary star, it needs to either be very close to the uh, central star, or it needs to be kind of on the region that's very far away from, from both stars. Now, in this case, it seems that these two supermassive black holes, black holes are very, very close to each other. And so they're going to be creating some very interesting effects here. One of these effects is probably going to create occasional gaps in uh, in the central region, but also on the outskirts. These gaps will be basically formed because these two black holes are circling around one another and uh, are creating a berry center that's going to be moving around and disturbing orbits of other stars. So some stars might actually escape this galaxy now and end up somewhere else, and some stars might end up uh, coming closer and closer. So in other words, this will reshape the shapes of these galaxies from elliptical to more or less something that looks more spiral because it's sort of like, imagine like a mixer going in circles and creating these unusual patterns. And eventually, for reasons that I'm going to be discussing in one of the future videos, these galaxies also start forming arms, the spiral arms that make uh, this beautiful shape that you see right here, or right here, or right here. So these spiral arms are formed uh, through another kind of action that's kind of common in many uh, things that you even see in real life. For example, uh, if you look down a drain of uh, running water, but what's interesting here is that even after a few uh, minutes of running the simulation, or I guess in game time, 1.3 billion years, you can kind of see that uh, a lot of the material first of all escapes this galaxy, but second of all, it's actually, it becomes more stretched this way. It becomes more flattened even uh, after a little bit. And this implies that th this galaxy is actually going to start acquiring a uh, kind of a inclination that's going to be rel uh, related to, to the, those two supermassive black holes or orbiting around one another. So uh, their or orbit, which you can kind of see right there, is going to create the inclination for this galaxy. And so eventually pretty much everything is going to be along this line. Right now it's going to take a while, of course, but with time it will, it will get there. 
So what we're going to do is wait a little bit longer just to see what kind of shape this actually acquires at the end. But as you can see, creating a spiral galaxy that looks like a spiral galaxy is quite a challenge. As a matter of fact, this is maybe the 10th simulation I run in this game. And I'm still yet to acquire something that actually looks like this or like this. It's very difficult and it does seem to require quite a lot of luck. So let's just wait a little bit and see what happens. And right now I've waited almost 2 billion years. This is basically the time it would have taken that other galaxy to be created. And as you can see, mine looks nothing like it. Mine looks nothing like a spiral galaxy. And so that implies that the fact that the galaxy A1689B11 um, became a spiral galaxy means that they got really, really, really lucky. And that kind of shows because it's the first one we've seen that's so old and has a spiral shape. You can obviously try this yourself, uh, if you don't have Universe Sandbox, the link for this game is in the description below. Um, and see if you can create something spirally looking, and if you do, post a screenshot so we can all check it out. It is very difficult, it is very challenging, and it does require a lot of patience and probably a very powerful computer. So even with um, maybe hundreds of simulations, you'll probably get lucky maybe once, and even then, it will very unlikely to look like a real spiral galaxy, like this, with arms and everything. So creating this does require a lot of luck, a lot of patience, and obviously a lot of persistence. So the fact that our galaxy is this shape makes us very lucky yet again. Anyway, we're going to talk about why galaxies have spiral arms in the future video, so come back and check it out on the channel, and uh, subscribe if you still haven't, share this video with someone who enjoys watching space videos, and most importantly, consider supporting this channel on Patreon because it does help me make better videos. I'll see you guys tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye bye.